Welcome to our next part of the course of Structural Fire Engineering here at Stellenbosch University. Where we're going to be looking at fires and heat now, so fire and behavior, because an important thing when it comes to designing structural elements for high temperatures is what is your design fire? What sort of fire severity will your structure experience? And there's a lot of different options. We have our standard fires, which are useful benchmarks, um, or the, the standard fire, old but still effective and, and well well understood in the industry. And then the, some of the hydrocarbon fire or the external fire. But then we can have something that's a bit more realistic, for instance a parametric fire, which has both a heating phase and a cooling phase. Then we can even get into one zone or two zone models, which takes it to the next level of computation. And then right the way through to computational fluid dynamics, where we can take a room, model the furniture and the contents, and anything we want in it to model the, the ventilation, and come up with an understanding, a detailed understanding, of the fire and smoke behavior in the room. But obviously when you're considering this variation, everything from a very standardized benchmark, which has no consideration of fuel, no consideration of ventilation, and any other factor, right through to a detailed model where you know to exactly what's in the room. We've got to have a look at what is it for, how much information do we have, and then what is sort of a, a consistent level of crudeness that we would need to apply when coming to design. And all of them are useful and all of them are good options. We just have to realize that there are options within our arsenal when it comes to approaching. And on the one hand, simple and quick. On the other hand, a lot more detailed, possibly more economical, but also a large number, or a large amount of extra understanding required to apply that. And then once we have a design fire, we go through to heat transfer, whether it's conduction, so that's transfer of heat through structural elements, through solids, so that would be more applicable when you've got steel elements and the heat transfer through it. Or you've got a concrete section and how the um, heat progresses through the section with time. Then on to um, convection, as we've got the hot gases transported within a, uh, an enclosure and how that heats up. And then finally on to radiation. And convection and radiation really govern the heat transfer into elements from a fire. So those are some of the things we're going to be looking at in the section that follows.